It's Nick again with the Hostel Hair. I had plans of firing this bad boy up and showing you guys how it works tonight. But it is about to rain. So we're going to hold off on that. Maybe make another video tomorrow. But this is the famous or infamous flamethrower that came out Doomsday Preppers last year on my episode. Uh, it's pretty basic. You can see this is the hopper. Here's where we filled it up with rabbit manure that was ground into a fine powder. That would fall down into here. And that is a shop vac tube that would blow the air in, come up, hit the powder, push it out the end. Now, if you've ever heard of a sawmill exploding or a flour mill exploding, uh, that's the same principle as you've got an atomized um, fuel. It's basically the finest powder you can get, surrounded with oxygen, and you get a bang. Well, in this case, we just got plumes of fire. Now, I used this torch, which is just a standard ditch burner torch. You can get them at Home Depot for like 50 bucks. And uh, in the show, we said it was filled full of methane, which was a lie. Uh, they wanted to make a little bit of movie magic, but... Principle still there. You can use methane for it. You just have to be able to compress it. And no, I wasn't compressing methane with a dinky little air compressor. You actually need some more sophisticated equipment than that. Anyway, so light the pilot torch and fire up the uh, shop vac. Pushes the powder through the pilot flame, which is only about that big on there, about two foot or so, and it lights the. Uh, the powder on fire and when we ran out of rabbit manure we actually used flour so if you don't have a shiz load of rabbits you can always buy, buy a bag of cheap flour and it will do the same thing so this is just two inch pvc got a reducer that went down to the pipe and then this is two inch a two inch t to a two inch um, riser and then you can get this is actually a rubber um, a rubber, uh, I don't even know what you call it, a coupler, that uh, you can you can tighten on to a piece of four inch PVC, and it works great as the hopper. We just fill it up like so, pop this guy off, and you're set. Make sure that that pipe isn't sticking up past this point. You know, you want the pipe to be right about here. The reason being is your flour will get stuck around the inside of that pipe or your poop, whatever you're using, and uh, it won't fall down into the tube like you want it to. So that's it. It's pretty simple. I've got more elegant designs that I'm probably going to be coming out with just to waste some time because that's what I do instead of building cages and raising rabbits like I'm supposed to. I dink around with this crap. Anyway, check us out, hostelhair.com. We'll have more videos like this, and pretty soon we should have this thing lit up and blazing the night sky. So stay tuned for that. Again, HostileHair.com. Check us out.